Welcome back to the Morning Blend. A lot of people think varicose veins are just cosmetic, but they can sometimes be a sign of a much more serious problem. And one out of every three adult women have them. Dr. Deborah Mangioni is with the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa, and she's here today with more on venous disease. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Yes, a little education again. Yeah, I think this is important because there's a lot of, I think, misunderstanding between something that's cosmetic and something that is potentially the sign of something that's more serious. Because a lot of people, True. nobody likes the, the appearance of veins. Nobody likes the appearance, but many people don't realize that the symptoms they're having in their legs are due to their varicose veins because varicose veins have a higher back pressure in them. You know, the veins are the vessels that are returning the blood to your heart and lungs after the oxygen's been taken out mm -hmm. when the arteries carry the blood down. So they're working against gravity. And if they're not working properly, like in this picture, we have a picture of valves in the vein, and that's how the blood goes up and it's prevented from being pulled back down by gravity. They're little one-way valves from two little leaflets. And if the valves aren't working, then the vein can stretch apart and it can become malformed and larger, and it's holding much more blood in it than it should. And when that happens, there's congestion in the legs and there's higher pressure in those veins. And so you can really get problems uh, that the veins stretch out to accommodate all that blood. And the varicose veins, they're actually seen because I like to describe it to patients, it's like being on a highway at rush hour. And okay. so if that highway, which is the main trunk of veins, if it's similar to that as an analogy, uh, if that's all backed up, then all the entrance ramps are gonna be backed up too. And that's where we start seeing the bulging varicose veins in the skin. Those are the entrance ramps trying to drain into the main highway, the main trunk. And the first before and after picture that we have is an example of the bulging that you just mentioned. Right. And and sure. this is an example of a varicose vein that, that th that's the reason this particular vein failed, right? Is what you just right. mentioned. That's, that's a branch vein that's draining into a trunk vein that's not working. So when the trunk stops stops working, it makes all these uh, branches also stop working. So with the person who has a bulging vein like that, what symptoms might they experience? They might have aching in their leg, they might have a throbbing at that area, leg cramps that wake them up at night, very common with varicose veins. Uh, people get swelling in their legs because of the increased pressure pushing fluid out of the vessel actually into the tissue around it. Um, they can get restlessness in their legs, a feeling of a crawling sensation in the legs, and just fatigue and heaviness. So how did you transform those veins? How, how, did, you, how did you treat that? Well, everything we do is minimally invasive at our center. So that means under local anesthesia, we can do anything through a needle puncture. And so on that particular patient, we did a closure of a trunk vein using a laser. And the laser is about the size of a raw spaghetti fiber in diameter, a raw spaghetti. Okay. And so we thread that little laser fiber up inside the vein painlessly. And once it's in the vein, we're able to anesthetize around it with injections of local anesthesia, fire the laser and withdraw the laser as we're doing it. And that's closing the vein from the top down. And that's how we take care of the trunk problem. And then if those big varicose veins are particularly large, as in this patient, we also then have numbed up that area and through little tiny needle punctures, we're able to remove the vein. So no more big incisions, no more vein stripping procedures. You don't have to go to the hospital and have a general anesthetic. This is all done in the office in a much more safe environment than in the hospital for many reasons. Without being under a general anesthetic, you don't have a risk as high of a deep vein clot forming. Oh yeah, that's So you're able too. to get up and walk. You walk in, you walk out after the procedure. It's immediate relief. It really is incredible what we can do. Yeah, it's come a long way because a lot oh, of people are familiar with vein different. stripping. Um, the, the second example is skin pigmentation right. that you see. Now, is this a sign too of a venous uh, yes, disease Yes, it is because problem? what happens is when you have that backup of blood, not only can fluid leak out into the tissues, but also some red cells can go out and you can have brown discoloration. These are called stasis changes because the blood's not moving rapidly. It can't empty the, from the vein the way it should. And so you can get staining of the skin that way. Are you able to not only fix the problem, but also change the appearance? The appearance will improve. It usually does not ever go away completely because it is a pigment issue. Mm -hmm. But we're starting to see some real improvements some, with using some, a lot of moisturization of the, of the skin after we've fixed the problem. And we can use intense pulse light therapies in our center to also bring that pigment up to the surface and have some of it flake off. What about ulceration? Ulceration is really the big complication that we're worried about with varicose vein disease and venous problems because what happens is with all the high pressure in the tissues uh, and in the skin, we can't, healing can't take place. So if somebody either ruptures a blood vessel, as in this case, they did, they ruptured their varicose vein and started to bleed, that ulcer wouldn't heal 
or if somebody bangs their leg when they have these problems with their skin, it won't heal until we're able to get all the swelling out. And so by reducing that venous pressure, by closing the vein that's a problem, we get this ulceration to heal very nicely. Yeah, you, there's really a difference there. Huge difference. Spider veins, um, you're yeah. often explaining the difference to me because a lot right. of people um, know that spider veins is a cosmetic problem. Right. So yes, it's cosmetic, but can be a sign of something more serious, yes, right? Yes, it can, especially spider veins in certain areas, around the back of the knee, around the ankle, can be signs that there may be something going on in a trunk vein that you don't see on the surface, even without varicose veins. Uh, so if somebody has symptoms in their legs and they've got these, these spider veins, we need to look at them with an imaging technique that we use a venous duplex ultrasound, painless technique. With the patient standing, we're able to do an ultrasound and look at the actual vein function to know what's going on. People obviously is, have, if they have these problems, they should have it checked. A consultation is the first step along right. with some of that imaging. Here's the information for Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa so that you can have a consultation about your veins. Find out if it's the sign of something more serious. They are located in Pewaukee on Georgetown Drive. The phone number is 262-746-9088 and wimedispa.com is the website to visit for more information. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you.